Yeah. You're rocking with Sir Quentin Best. Check it out now. Of the best entertainment. Shut up and hustle. That's a couple thoughts from my past life. Bad bitch on my dick, baby. I'm pretty Tony. They have price, man. Pay rock with your bitch. That's the shit she be telling me. Bay Warner, straight corner. Put a V on her like Melody. Fuck whatever these hoes say. Cause I'm LL for the non trade. Black bottles like Rose. But I'm also like Kanye. Baby, I ain't trying to be the new big. I ain't trying to be the new pop. Stepdad was a drug dealer. So what? I spit it. This straight drop. Bad bitches just won't stop. If shit light like Tay Rock. Get good in the mad city. I'm still feeling like Tay Best of the best entertainment presets. Your feature presentation. What up, Milwaukee? Yo, yo, yo. Welcome to Best of the Best TV, where we keep our eyes and our ears open for local and worldwide talent across the world. Today, we caught up with somebody we've been trying to catch up for some time now. Who are you? I'm boy, LL Cool G, man. 93 OG. Hulum Game, man. Straight up. How old are you, man? 25. How long you been battle rapping? I've been battle rapping since October of 2013. 2019. 18 going on 19, I think. So about five, six years? Yeah. So what made you what made you start battle rapping? Yeah, when you start battle rapping, it's like, yeah, because I couldn't be as lyrical as I could on you do on tracks as you can be like without because you make your own beat in your head to battle rap. So it's like you can be as lyrical as you want to. LL Cool G, so um how you get that battle now? How you get that battle right now? Uh, let me pick from, because I all in like high school, like as a high school, like around like two, uh, nine, 9, 10, 11, shit. So I used to, all I used to wear is Coogee, so I went off where everybody started calling me Coogee and shit. So I just went off what, basically what that people that knew me as, started bringing up something like a whole new name. I'm just gonna go off with everybody, start calling me and shit, Coogee. So I just went off and just ran with that. I remember them days, man. Yeah, about 2008, 19, you know, Coogee was fire hot then. So, you know, say that motherfucker, that's why I went ass and shit, you know what I'm saying? But, like, you know, fashion goes in and out of style all the time and shit, you know what I'm saying? Because from down there, you still see motherfuckers rocking Coogee sweaters and shit like that oh, yeah. and shit like oh, that. Yeah. So, you know, like, with that being said, yeah, I just went off just went off my audio with motherfuckers, motherfuckers in the hood and what motherfuckers in school called me Coogee. So I just went off this shit. So, I, I know what makes you different. Tell tell your fans know tell your fans and everybody who don't know what what makes you a different battle rapper than the, the typical battle rapper. Uh, what makes me different battle rapper from the typical battle rapper? Uh, I just a lot of I did a lot of things that I do incorporate now that I do for like I said I already had I'm already like 10, 11 mixtapes in live mixtapes that piff all that shit. If people hear my shit, it don't sound like battle rap shit. And like I said, a whole different swag, a whole different appeal when it comes to, you know what I'm saying, my own shit when it comes to the battle rap shit, especially in the inner city and outside. You definitely have a pin on a bigger, a bigger, different impression when you bring something different to the game and shit. True. So so you rap too? Yeah. Okay. Um, you battled many, numerous of cats. What's, what's, your, what's your best battle? My best battle today, I think, will be... Between me and Dre Dennis, or my recent battle with me and Quantum Physics QP, like my it's like, yeah, like like lyrical, like and all that. It's because I had so many good battles for so many different reasons. Because it's like best battles, like I said, the battle with me and GE, me and Granddaddy Perk, me and Jay Lopez, like like some like dope battles. Like you said, like it's they they are my best battles for different reasons. So pinpointing like one one it'd be like real hard and shit. You know what I'm saying? Barely with my train of work, my line of work and shit. So what would be your worst battle? Uh, my worst battle would probably be against. My worst battle would probably be against. Uh, my worst battle would probably get against Killer B. This was when I first started battle rap. It was like my third or fourth battle, and like I wasn't, I wasn't used to battling like niggas like that actually can rap and shit. I was like battling, because I, was, I had started at AOW, so I was like battling scrub niggas and shit, you know, so I had never stepped in front of some real competition. You know what I'm saying? I ended up, my uh, stomach ended up hurting in the middle of the battle, 
So I ended up fucking up because niggas know I don't choke. So it was like, <laughs> I'm not known for choking at all. So he like, don't. He don't choke. choke. That's what I'm saying. Like, yeah, so I ended up fucking up in the middle of the battle. So probably that's probably my worst battle, but it, it also, it was a good battle and, and as in a lesson for the situation and shit. Yeah, so what did you learn from that? I learned from that, I learned from that, you know, that it's going to, it's real competition out here and that's who I need to be battling to get better. And it was, it definitely was a lesson learned in the situation, you know what I'm saying? Because I was down there, I didn't have no, like, no entourage, nobody shit. I'm down there by myself, though, you know what I'm saying? No entourage, no nothing. So, you know, so we just had to, I just had to uh, learn from that situation and shit. And here we is now, I'm on URL, PG cards, and battling names, going out of town, getting paid to battle flights, everything. So you know how that. So uh, speaking of that, like if you could watch a battle and you pull up on YouTube, like what's the best battle of all time? Like something that we could find in your YouTube history. Uh, my be my best battle of all time. Uh, this this my battle or just somebody just just somebody just any any uh, battle. Rapper. Any battle, uh, I think uh be Sue Surf, Tsunami Surf versus might be uh, K Shine. Yeah, yeah, Sue Surf, definitely. Or it could be or A Verb versus Hitman Holla. Okay. Yeah, it was that too. So yeah. So on that same on that same note, LL Coogee, top five battle rappers right now. Top five battle rappers just overall. Top five battle rappers overall. Number one right now would be Tay Rock. Two would be New Jersey Twerk. Three would be Sue Surf, and four would be A Verb, and number five probably my five would probably be J C. Yeah. Shout out all them names, man. Um, if you could battle anybody right now, mm -hmm. anybody right uh, now, who would you? If I could battle anybody, it'd be Surf or A Verb. Sir favorite. Why would you battle them? They're my favorite battle rappers, though. I fuck <laughs> them niggas up. <laughs> Y'all heard it first, man. This is favorite battle rappers, man. Yeah, I so, fuck them niggas up. It's surfing, A Verb. Yeah, definitely. But that's my top five for like, well, my top five in the, uh, the city is, uh, without, my, without including myself in it, it would be, uh, first, it would be, it would be Killer B, Hoodlum. BNB Mike G, J Lopez, and then I'll probably throw in there. I'm trying to think somebody. I'm, I'm, I'm Spence J. Oh, yeah, you got those Spence J. Yeah, shout out Spence, yeah. yeah Spence J. That's my homie. So we finna, we finna get into some controversy right now, man, mm -hmm. with this Milwaukee rap. What is the biggest problem with Milwaukee battle rap? The biggest problem with Milwaukee battle rap is really like, like I said, it's, it's, it's things like that that happened years ago. It's things that happened that happened years ago that it really, because in in our re case, and I'm uh, quoting, I'm gonna quote something that Killer B said too publicly. Uh, it's like the battle rappers are getting used as pawns in the league owners' beef when it comes to shit. Because on like on a personal note, a lot of us, even from other. Other reads like other uh, groups say, say if I'm over this, I'm, over, I'm part of this league and another person part of this league. Me and this other person might be, okay, to make an example, me and Bankhead are like best friends. And you see me and Bankhead, Bankhead is part of Cartel, and I fuck with Blow. Spit that heat. They have a rivalry, a, a little beef or whatever. So, but like I said, my point is that, you know, the battlers, like 80% of or 90% of each other is fuck with each other, we'll have no beef. It's pretty much the league owners that have the problem with each other. And a lot of these problems obviously ex uh, basically began before a lot of us was even battling. From some earlier situations that happened in Turkey. And some of us have our own situations and shit. Because I have my own situation too that I don't, I don't get in detail about or put to the public. You know what I'm saying? Like that. But... There's a lot of situations that expire because, like I said, they're uh, league owners own personal beef with each other, you know what I'm saying, or personal things they have with each other, which doesn't have nothing to do with us because they start all this uh, 
you know what I'm saying, pick a side, all that stuff, hashtags, all that, you know, and I and I rather besides picking a side, I'd rather pick us over that. You know what I'm saying? Like pick us, pick us mean as the battlers, because if the battlers stand up and stand for something, be like, okay, this is what we can do to all resolve this. If all the battlers from from Milwaukee, all of us that fuck with each other, all the motherfuckers that really, you know what I'm saying, that matter here, if we all say until y'all get y'all beef straight, we not battling for either one of y'all. <laughs> y'all build, y'all making a union of yeah. battle rappers. So, so that that piggybacks some off my next question. What 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 could you do to resolve this whole issue? What can I do? Uh, you, I, LL Yeah, Gucci. yeah. I, I've uh, in my because like I said, all I, all I want is to. I never look for. I'm never out here looking for no uh, problems or no shit like that. But I'm not backing down from none either. In the same breath, so it's like. I just want, but how I can think I can resolve this is basically like the same way. I, I didn't resolve a lot of certain beats of beside, behind closed doors and shit like that. Cause you know, uh, two people I had, uh, I do, uh, I, I, I fuck with it. I care about it, like blowing, Milton blowing, Great Britain. My guy Great Britain had an issue that just got resolved. You know what I'm saying? Brought two and both, two men both together and resolved the yeah, issue. That, that was hot. I didn't know anything got resolved. Yeah, that got resolved. The recently at the bit because both of them fuck with me and they both have. Ulterior motive. Their ulterior motive is to see me go where I need to go. So if both of y'all have the same you no know, motive and everything. Y'all have the same. You no, know, why not fuck with each other? Yeah. So, so that that been resolved. There's been multiple situations that have been resolved because my hands has been in it. All like at this point with me, all I need, all 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 all, all I need is people to be able to admit they're wrong. Because as a man, I'm able to admit I'm wrong about something. Oh, and yeah. I'm able to come to a man or a woman and uh, apologize as a man and come at them and be like, okay, I was wrong about this. I should have never said that. Or I took this the wrong way and that's why I said this and why I said that. People have to throw their egos in a bag and put it in the garbage for this shit to be worked the way it need to be. And to then, it's going to keep being the same way f- for the next 10 years. Because you got to think about this. This has been... I think this has been, because it's been the go hard or go home thing and from the uh, cartel and the go hard or go home thing and it spilled over to the go hard or go home cartel and spit that heat thing because the blow came back up here and they just spit that heat thing. So now I was spilling over to it's like, how long is we finna do this? It's going, it's damn near finna go, it's like, okay, 2012, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. It's going on, I mean, like eight, seven years, seven, eight years now. How long are we gonna keep this going? Like, how long are we gonna keep this going? Like, cause like I said, a lot of us have it's so many, so much talent out, out of all those leagues. It's so much talent, of, it, man. You know, I, it's so much talent in everything. And like I said, like I, I like I said, my friend, like Bankhead, my friend, like we we like it. it, it and in some ways, it, it interferes with personal relationships in this situation. Oh yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? You know, personal situations and shit. You know, so I don't ever want to be in a situation where I feel like I have to spite or shit on or, or, you know what I'm saying, talk down on a person that's my friend in real life based on what goes on in battle rap. Because we have real life and battle rap is totally two different things. Correct. So we don't never want to take that to the next level and to that type of shit because it's things that spilled over. Cause like it's so many old things that happened before even I was battle rapping to where it's, uh, you know what I'm saying, people done got into fights, all type of shit when it shouldn't even have to be going to that far. So, what, so like, what are we doing here at this point when it goes that far? When we all have the common goals and need to get to the next level when we have so much talent on East and Side. And it's not even y'all beef. It's, 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 it's not none of our beef because a, a lot of us do business outside. Like I said, a lot of us do business out battle rap. A lot of us kick it with each other, go out with each other, chill with each other, smoke, drink, all that. You know what I'm saying? With each other. So why? Sit, pick a side, and you can pick us. Like, you yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. You can pick us over the side. The, the union of battle rap. The union rap. of battle rap instead of, you know what I'm saying, what what the league owner's problem or what their beef is. And honestly, like I said, if nobody's been, I tell anybody this, if nobody's been beat up, shot, stabbed, or disrespected to the point where there's no turning back, it can be resolved. So until y'all get y'all shit together, no more bars from these rappers, they standing up. Fact. So, uh, <laughs> all right. So, um, my final question for you is: How do you want to be remembered? I want to be remembered as like period, like 
I want to be remembered just as the pe a person that 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 helped and stood up for us. Like, since we get my own legacy, that's already and that's already God already paid that role for me already. That's already in cement. We just need. I, I just want at this point just to help, just like everybody just come together. I'm not asking people to be best friends. I'm not asking people to kick it with each other. Just allow, just take the tension and pressure off the battle rappers that want to be free enough to be able to be comfortable enough around to know I can go fuck with this person or I can go fuck with this person and not have no issues behind it. You know, and stop putting, because like I said, a lot of us fuck with each other. A lot of battle rapping is and it's bringing like a lot of stress and like a lot of like tension between people that really have personal relationships. Either that's really cool because of the uh, league owners and stuff and beefs with each other, honestly. And like I said, I just really want, like I said, people like for us to, like I said, be able to be cool, be, be, be in a cordial, cool situation where we don't have to worry about anything. Like I said, people being disrespected or people being feeling like they can't do something because somebody, because a league owner or any any league owner in general feels like, okay, I don't fuck with that person, so you can't, can't go battle for that league. Or I don't fuck with this person, so you can't battle. You know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, a lot of these, a lot of niggas is battle rapping and getting money. And certain niggas don't got jobs and certain niggas hustle and this might be one of their hustles. Yeah. So who are you to tell me not to go get some money because you have a problem with somebody? Man. Yeah. And that's just real shit, you know? So I just really, people nigga need, need to put their egos to the side and just not take nothing to Facebook, not take nothing to, all it takes is a simple, you know what I'm saying? Meet up with somebody one on one and talk. Nobody, nobody has a, no bump, nobody brings an entourage or somebody feel like they're getting sunned or have an ego or anything that one on one people need to just need, need to meet one on one or need to get on the phone one on one. Because a real nigga ain't gonna take that shit to Facebook anyway. Yeah, a lot of this shit, like, a lot of this shit is like, it's like a, right. Like, you know, I mean, you're trying to get likes or views. You know like it's all, it's all, like it's all where that's all media is about. It's about about likes. Likes can't. Likes not going. It ain't gonna get you no views on YouTube. <laughs> right, right. It's not going. That that like views is you rather. I rather people view me as like I said, it's helping somebody to view me in a wrong, pop, negative way. I rather it's positive way of shit. So it's like you know, being one of like I said, like at the most most talked about, most 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 relevant battle rappers right now coming out of Wisconsin and Milwaukee right now. Like I said, that's all I really want. I really don't want no situation with nobody, but like I said, I'm not I'm not backing down from nothing either. Ain't nobody yeah. no hoes or no shit like that. <laughs> so, but like, so at the end of the day, it's just like, it's some real shit. So I'm not, like I said, so don't have to go to those situation where we have to go get guns or have to fight or any of that. Meet up with somebody one-on-one. -on -one. And battle it out. Battle, battle, either battle it out, or <laughs> you got if, served, if, huh? if, if, if you don't fuck, and like I said, and if y'all go one on one and y'all talk, and y'all still don't fuck with each other, yeah. just keep this. This you, you ain't. I heard an old woman say one day, "You don't have to like me. I mean, you don't gotta like me. Don't fuck with me. Then I won't be in your way. You gonna be won't be in my way. Yeah. But you ain't gotta be mean to me though." Oh, yeah. <laughs> older woman said that. Yeah. You don't have to be mean to me though, just because you don't like me. You don't like me. I'm gonna stay out your way. Yeah. You stay out mine. Yeah. But don't, don't, don't egg on nothing, and then wonder why it's a situation or or it's negative things and no like, you know, people like I said, like I said, when in situations like until these days, it's not like how we well, used to be, especially with men. Men, so like the majority is like men. Men make up with different feelings every day, like females do now. <laughs> oh yeah. So it's like you can't, you can't always. Oh, pin, yeah. You always can't expect somebody to have the same energy or you or feel the same way you do or want the same things you want. At the end of the day, like I said, that's that's and that, like I said, that's all the day. That's really all I want. I just want everybody just to be able to open up and meet with somebody or get on the phone and apologize and not take it to Facebook and keep it just like that. Like I said, I have personal friendships with people. Like I said, that I, I care about and I, I got made mad love for. Like I mean, I mean, I know people, parents, and and that's kind of like that. that's kind of like crazy if you think about it. You a battle rapper, you using your words, but when it comes to speaking and talking to another can't, man, you can't, you can't even do it because you're so focused on getting being attention whores, yeah, getting likes and getting views and all that shit. These like tells people I can't. 
you can't go in the store and buy nothing with attention. Oh, yeah, I got some attention. Can I get some? <laughs> can I buy some skittles with this attention? I got. It. <laughs> so you doing that like it's always it's better to be somebody's friend than to be their enemy. Oh yeah, all the time. You never know when you gonna need that person. Like I said, the same person you might have a problem with today might help you next year. Oh, yeah. Y'all might be best friends next year. And it's crazy because there's not a lot of people in Milwaukee. People don't realize that. It's and especially battle rappers. There's not a lot of battle rappers. Yeah, so in like Milwaukee, I said, so. we, we see each other damn near. Like, it's like school. We see each other every damn near every other month. Now, trust me. I'll damn near two time. times two times a month because it's events. So yep. if motherfuckers going, so if damn near you're going to see me, you're going to see other battle rappers, you're going to see Hullum, you're going to see Killer B, you're going to see Mike, you're going to see, you're going to see a lot of the same people. A lot of the, basically the top dudes. Yeah. So. You don't even see basketball players do that. Right, that's what I'm saying. Like, so you're going to see certain people a lot. So why create energy or create that certain energy or like that, whatever, when, because the only thing, like I said, it only ends one way. It only ends somebody dead and somebody in jail. So um, we, we about at our time limit, man. We just got through chopping it up with Bridge the Gap, LL Cool G, man. And uh, you got any problem with it, man, come battle them. You know, y'all should do a battle, man, if you win. You know what I'm saying? Like, the gap is bridge or something like that. Yeah. But that's a whole different subject, man. But, man, you now rocking with your boy, Sir Quinn and LL Coogee, man. Thank you for showing up, man. I appreciate it. And like you, I always man. say, man, shh, shut up and hustle. We out.